the Hock test. The Hock test is a test used to diagnose distal biceps tendon rupture, avulsion, or a tear. The biceps tendon inserts at the radial tuberosity. When the biceps tendon ruptures, it causes pain at the elbow. The patient will experience a sharp, sudden, painful pop at the elbow from unexpected extension force when the elbow at 90 degree of flexion. The condition occurs in middle-aged men, usually involve the dominant extremity. It is a single traumatic event with eccentric force on the flexed elbow. There might be a chemosis at the elbow and weakness of spination and flexion of the elbow. There might be a palpable defect with proximal retraction of the biceps muscle belly, call it reverse Bapai sign. If rupture of the tendon is not diagnosed and repaired, then there will be a loss of 40 to 50 percent of supination and 30 percent of flexion of the elbow. The Hock test is performed to diagnose rupture or tear of the distal biceps tendon. The examiner will use the index finger to hock the tendon from the lateral side of the elbow. How do you do the Hock test? The patient flexes the elbow to 90 degree and fully spinate the forearm. Use the index finger to hug the lateral edge of the biceps tendon. If the tendon is intact or partially torn, the finger can be inserted below the tendon and hug it. If you cannot hug the tendon, then there is a complete tear of the tendon. There might be false positives involved with the Hock test, such as with partial tear of the distal biceps, or with intact laceratus fibrosis, or mistakenly hocking the brachialis tendon. Another test to diagnose the distal biceps tendon tear is called the squeeze test, which is similar to the Thompson test for the Achilles tendon rupture. The way you do it, you flex the elbow to 80 degree and keep the forearm in some pronation and you squeeze the biceps by one hand or by two hands. Supination of the forearm will occur if the biceps is intact. No supination will occur if the biceps is torn. The problem with diagnosing distal biceps tendon tear is to differentiate between partial tear and complete tear because both have the same clinical pictures. You could see a palpable defect in a complete tear. That will help. The partial tears are rare and frequently misdiagnosed and underdiagnosed. The patient will have pain in the elbow but the patient also will have a normal Hock test. So this is the time to get the MRI. The MRI here may be helpful. MRI may not be needed in all cases. MRI will diagnose the tear, the degree of retraction, and if the tear is complete or partial. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.